Hello YouTube, how are you? Uh, today I am going to show you in this tutorial I am going to show you uh, uh, what is the sub, -part sub partition using range and list partition so I am going to explain with you uh, how to create the, uh, how to create range list sub partition uh, this is the last part of the uh, Oracle partitioning and information so uh, basically uh, which we using on table and how to create the partition there are number of partition uh, we can create on the table and uh, also uh, in the also index also uh, IOT, ta IOT table so I'm going to connect my database and connect as database as a system here and the range list sub partition uh, I will show you uh, by the Oracle Enterprise Manager, uh, Oracle um, Enterprise Manager, and graphically how to create a table and uh, graphically uh, Enterprise Manager of your database in the Enterprise Edition. So uh, to open the um, uh, Enterprise Edition, um, uh, our database listener must have to be started. That's why I am going to start my listener, listener uh, start. LSNR CTL start. Uh, my listener is already running. So yeah, there is another uh, console EM, um, uh, EMCTL Enterprise Manager Control DB console must uh, uh, must have to uh, uh, start and also uh, this also running. And so here is my URL and of. Uh, each database that has unique port number, unique URL, just copy this URL and paste open a browser, web browser, paste here and then hit enter. Uh, then uh, it's asked me to uh, database credential, my username is sys and password and I'm connected as CSDBA uh, so uh, in the administration part uh, there is uh, there are lots of information there are lots of uh, link uh, in the um, schema section database object uh, we need to table uh, now and to create table so here is the uh, option you want to that, uh, uh, which uh, on uh, which table I want to create secondary table or uh, index organized table so by uh, so uh, by default option is the standard uh, standard click on continue so uh, here I have to give the table name rngLST range and list rng rng LST and here I have to pass the column like in M bracket to size is 20 character and there is no default values second column is cell data type number and third column will be student degree column and the data type bucket to it also 20 character and third fourth column will be amp number this is number type and four column in M cell degree and E number M number so that's all uh, I need just only uh, you can uh, in, 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 uh, in my M number I uh, define that the call this column uh, uh, must not be null and constant also apply so before so before click and OK, you need I need uh, you need to uh, uh, click on partition. So no partition uh, have been defined right now. So just click on create. Uh, uh, 
in my uh, last video uh, I have discussed about uh, how to create range partition hatch partition list partition and also uh, mm, so all those partition uh, I have uh, uh, make a demo and uh, perform as practically so if you have any confusion you can watch them so uh, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to configure range uh, range list partition so I will mm, show you uh, so how to create range list part range list sub partition by the Oracle EM or EM means Oracle Enterprise Manager range list partition is a composite partition uh, data using the range method uh, within each partition sub partition using list method uh, so just uh, my, I have to uh, check out I have to uh, check out this uh, radio box uh, range list then click continue uh, then uh, uh, here is the, all the column which I have defined in my uh, 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 previous table so uh, starting with one means uh, mm, it's select any column pass the value starting with one means main partition is choose for the range and first of all uh, here I pass the starting with one click next there is a number of partition I want to create two partition and I want to pass the maximum maximum uh, value like one and two each partition like range is defined 200 okay uncheck the max well click on next so <coughs> uh, by default it will take uh, by default it will store in uh, system table space if you uh, mm, uh, if uh, uh, if I want to change the table space uh, by uh, I can uh, by uh, by this tab I can change change them so mm, so I am uh, I am t I am taking out the table spaces and I want to store the first partition uh, in the user table space and click next. So there is a two partition are created. Uh, first one is P1 and this uh, uh, which range start uh, 201 is the high value and start from one and this is second partition is the um, P2 uh, is it's uh, it will start from 202 and end will be 201 and uh, uh, and uh, the both partition will be stored both partition uh, will be stored in the user table spaces uh, uh, if you want to uh, uh, back if you want to uh, uh, back uh, uh, if you want to uh, check your uh, uh, back setting you can uh, uh, go back by uh, back button and use the max value so next next so uh, for the next partition uh, uh, as you can see after a few minutes ago I have checked the max value so that's why in my second partition uh, here show the range st underscore p2 partition is the max value it means that uh, from the uh, employee number 202 to max well it will store in the second partition and uh, it will uh, goes to the second partition and store in the uh, user table spaces uh, max value so uh, I can change uh, I, I want to change uh, I want to change that my second partition value will be uh, stored in the uh, sysox table spaces for the second partition okay click next uh, now select the table column by which you want to sub partition sub partition means now after the range you have to define the list and uh, using the discrete values 
so for the list for the list partition so I want to use student degree column for the list here, uh, here uh, I need to pass to partition and uh, use the round robin algorithm and pass I pass your system and user table spaces and click next so it will use sub partition 1 and the pass a default value like uh, MCA BCA MBA okay here I can pass the CCNA any course like Red Hat and Oracle okay now just click on finish so this is the information the first of all there is to partition of range partition and for the list partition use the sub student degree column and uh, there is uh, there also uh, there also uh, um, second two permission uh, sub two partition so if I want to uh, check the background SQL command uh, by uh, um, this is the background SQL command how to manually on the command line on the SQL uh, on the SQL command line the range partition uh, uh, sub partition in the um, partition and we uh, we can use this code otherwise uh, we can also create from the EM so it shows me message the table under the C's range uh, partition have been uh, created successfully so I can also check out here my object name rangelst just click go there is a table range list so first sub partition here uh, my here, here shows the detail information which I have just now created my, per my created uh, those partition and uh, this is the con con it shows the uh, uh, constraint it is the amp number uh, and there is the two partition information first range and second is other is a sub partition using the is uh, student the student degree column now just log out from there and go uh, let's go to the command line select table underscore name comma table underscore owner comma table partition underscore name from dba tab underscore partitions where table name equal to rng lst Range LST. Uh, I can check out. Uh, I have uh, set the pages 200, set the page size 100. So now uh, I can ch uh, you can check out the table name. Uh, so it shows all information about the partition of the table so p1 and p2 so uh, I want to check on the subpartition information also describe the DBA tab party partitions so set this, let me set the pages Subpartition. So this is the subpartition count. D 
db underscore tab underscore partitions wire table name rng lst so there is a two sub partition count value two so there is a uh, two sub partition QLG, uh, also created in the range list partition so in this uh, way you can create the range uh, range list sub partition uh, in oracle and you can uh, create it by uh, oracle enterprise manager also you can create it by command line uh, if you create it if you uh, want to create uh, range list partition by SQL command line uh, the command will be more complex that's why I, uh, that's why I am showing you how, showing you how to create a range list sub partition uh, in, by Oracle Enterprise Manager I hope this video will help you uh, that's all uh, don't forget to subscribe thank you thank you for watching